Hello and welcome to the Import Export Hub channel everybody, Bogdan here, your host for the next 10-12 uh, minutes. I hope that you are all doing great and uh, without further ado, as I'm sure that you all know what to do with the like, dislike and the subscribe buttons, let's dive into today's topic, which by the way is sponsored by my part partners at uh, Gypsy Crystal Ball LLC, uh, joke aside guys. Uh, in the following minutes, I am going to cover five products that uh, are worth considering exporting towards uh, Argentina, of course, from my personal point of view. And as usual, I've prepared here a boring Excel file uh, in order to see together uh, some of the trading partners, uh, the values, and of course, uh, where possible, I will uh, point out who are the main drivers from uh, each heading. So without further ado, the first product that I recommend it's coming from heading 8433, so harvesting or threshing machines. As uh, Argentina, as uh, you probably know, is a relatively big exporter of uh, agricultural products. And uh, of course, for this, they need some inputs. Um, and as we can see here for uh, 2021, which is the last year for which I have uh, the trade data, we have some $239 million worth of imports with uh, Brazil, the United States and uh, Germany as the main partners. But of course, we have other big exporters of uh, agricultural uh, machines like, I don't know, Italy, China or uh, Canada. Uh, just to name a couple from uh, this top 10 list. And uh, in terms of uh, trend and uh, of course, giving, uh, given the mature market of uh, Argentina, I think that uh, it will grow a couple of percentage points, maybe getting closer to the values and the figures of uh, 2018. With Argentina having a relatively good export potential for the companies building, I don't know, niche and uber, uber specialized agri machines from Europe or North America. I don't know, it's just a thought of mine. Uh, that's how I see things uh, right now. Uh, as for the year-on-year -year changes, we have uh, here almost 18% uh, positive change, which in uh, absolute terms translates to some $36 million with uh, Germany and the United States having the biggest absolute change of roughly $30, $31 million, uh, cumulatively, of course. Now, uh, relative to the main drivers, uh, I have here two examples, so Brazil and Italy. For the former, the main driver comes from uh, subheading 843390, so parts of uh, harvesting machinery and the like. While for the latter, the main driver was uh, subheading 843360, so the Uber specialized machines uh, that I was telling you about earlier. And we have machines for, I don't know, cleaning, uh, sorting or uh, grating aids, uh, fruits and other agricultural products for which uh, Italy, as you uh, probably know, has a long history and a big uh, comparative advantage. Now, guys, moving to my second recommendation. Here we have heading 8413, so pumps for liquids, whether or not fitted with a measuring device. And we see how uh, 2021 was the second best year in uh, terms of imports for Argentina after uh, 2018 with almost $378 million with uh, China, the United States and Thailand as the main uh, partners, followed by uh, countries like Brazil, Italy, the Czech Republic or Japan. Again, just to mention a couple from uh, this top 10 list. China, as you can see here, has almost a quarter of uh, Argentina's uh, market for uh, this subheading. It really took off in uh, 2021, as we have here some 74% more exports towards uh, Argentina. Um, Thailand is also coming strong from behind, if you ask me, with some 63% uh, positive change. While the exports from, I don't know, traditional industrial exporters like uh, the United States, Germany or uh, France, are uh, declining, which uh, makes me think that the Argentinian market is uh, somehow price sensitive. Anyhow, relative to the year-on-year -year changes, overall we have almost 50% uh, positive change, with uh, China having the big, uh, biggest absolute change of roughly $38 million. 
So more than the absolute uh, changes of, I don't know, the United States and uh, Thailand uh, combined. As for uh, the main drivers from uh, Thailand, we have uh, subheading 841330, so fuel lubricating or uh, cooling uh, medium pumps for internal combustion piston engines. Well, from Japan, we have parts of uh, pumps for liquids, not elsewhere specified, so um, subheading 841391. And uh, now with this uh, second product uh, recommendation being also covered, I will move to my third one, and we have uh, heading 3005, so wedding, gauze, bandages, and the like. We have some $18 million worth of imports for 2021 with uh, China, the United States and uh, Colombia as the main uh, trading partners. But of course, there are other important ones in uh, this top 10 list, like I don't know, the United Kingdom, France or the Dominican Republic. Uh, China again dominates the um, Argentinian market with uh, some 48% share. It's on a constant upward trend. Uh, Colombia, Spain or the Dominican Republic um, are uh, moving upwards as well. But here the figures are much lower and uh, basically we see this in the year on year changes if we are to look at the absolute uh, values. As uh, for uh, the main drivers from China, the main one was uh, subheading 300590, while from Hungary we have here subheading 300510, so adhesives, uh, dressings and articles uh, having an adhesive layer. And now guys, moving forward with the video, the fourth recommendation is coming from uh, heading 2309, so preparations of a kind used in animal feeding. And uh, we have here a nice upward trend uh, for this 2017-2021 uh, time frame, except maybe the 0.2% contraction from uh, 2019 maybe. But uh, generally speaking, I think it's safe to say that the market is uh, growing and for uh, 2021 we have some $62.5 million worth of imports with Brazil, China and the uh, United States as the main partners followed by other important ones like uh, Austria, Chile or India. Again, just to name a couple from uh, this top 10 list. Now, relative to the year-on-year -year changes, except here uh, China, the United States, Hungary and uh, the United Kingdom, who all had contractions, the rest of the top 10 um, partners had uh, positive changes. The biggest absolute change uh, happening in relation with Brazil, who exported with some $3.4 million more uh, towards Argentina in uh, 2021 while uh, China had uh, $3.1 million uh, contraction, which is the lowest amount in this uh, five years uh, time frame. Uh, relative to the main drivers here, the main exports from Brazil towards Argentina from this heading were related to preparations of a kind used in animal feeding, while the exports from Austria were mainly driven by subheading 230910, so dog or cat food put up for retail sale. And uh, with this being said, guys, I will now move to my fifth and last recommendation. Bear with me for a couple of minutes and don't close this video yet, as we have here heading 3403, so lubricant preparations and the like. Uh, pretty much uh, relating to industrial uses and we have some uh, 51 million dollars worth of imports for 2021 with the United States, uh, Germany and Brazil as the main uh, partners but there are other important ones in this top 10 list like I don't know France, uh, Switzerland or uh, the United Kingdom again just to name a couple. Um, the United States here dominates the Argentinian market, it seems, uh, for this uh, heading at least, with some 32% uh, uh, share. And except Brazil, who is uh, more or less an outlier, let's say, 
all the top 10 uh, partners are developed countries with strong and uh, advanced industries where i don't know research and development or uh, patents are key elements and basically we see how china is removed from uh, this top 10 list either because i don't know china didn't develop an appetite for this uh, sector yet either because Argent in argentina the intellectual property rights are followed or i don't know it could be both factors anyhow with whatever the reason uh, may be let's see how the year on year changes um, behaved and except he italy here who had the one percent contraction with the rest of the top 10 partners we have uh, positive changes with uh, germany and the united states having the biggest absolute change of about eight million dollars of course if we were to sum both uh, countries values uh, as for uh, the main drivers, well, from the United States, the main one was uh, subheading uh, 340399, while from France, the main one was subheading 340319. So, uh, guys, with this uh, last product being also covered, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've liked it. Don't forget to hit uh, whatever uh, button you want. And as usual, until next time, keep our business safe. Thanks.